TV, Vietnamese American Arizona Television. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our special investigative program. Here we provide you with an in-depth news on science and education that are relevant to your daily life. It has been six months since the first case of coronavirus were identified in the U.S., and it has been seven months into pandemic. Cases are continuing to rise in the U.S. and around the world. Currently, the only medication approved for treatment of COVID-19 infection is remdesivir, which we discussed in detail from last week's program. Please view that program if you have not had a chance. However, remdesivir is only available for patients in the hospital. The world struggles to stop the spread of coronavirus. With us today is Sylvan Lee, a rising junior at Basic Scottsdale, one of the best high school in the country, who will share with us her finding on vaccine development. Hi, Sylvan. How are you? As well as quarantine allows, and you? Yes, very good. Thank you. Thanks for coming and share with us the information. So, what does vaccine do? Simply put, a vaccine is basically a weakened form of the virus and put it into the body in order to um, simulate an immune response. In the past, scientists used an entire virus um, by killing it or weakening it um, almost entirely and then injecting it into people to provoke an immune response. An example of this was the polio vaccine developed um, in the 1950s. Another way that AstraZeneca and CanSino um, use are the adenoviruses to deliver the coronavirus genes into cells and provoke an immune response. Another way that Novavax uses is a coronavirus protein or a protein fragment to provoke an immune response. Recently, a new technology has emerged that makes messenger RNA an appealing approach to vaccine development. It can be developed extremely quickly and it's um, the method that most of the leaders in the vaccine competition are using, such as Moderna and Pfizer. Do we have the vaccine yet? Well, not yet, but we have over a hundred vaccines that are currently being investigated. They will all have to go through three stages of vaccine development. The first phase has fewer than 100 volunteers. The second phase has around um, a few hundred volunteers. And then the third has tens of thousands of volunteers. Um, the first and second phase are mostly just used for vaccine safety um, and biological activity, whereas the third actually tests for effectiveness. However, even after the license is granted, um, the FDA still monitors the production of the vaccine through faculty and facility inspections. Um, in June, FDA issued a 24-page guidance to assist in anyone who wants to develop um, the vaccine for the COVID-19. According to the guidance, an acceptable primary endpoint for a child would be a lab-confirmed COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 infection with the vaccine expected to prevent disease or increase its severity in at least 50% of vaccinated in individuals. So when will be the vaccine available? Most um, vaccines, uh, the leaders are expected to be available the beginning of next year or maybe the end of this year. This is extremely fast. Um, in the past, for comparison, vaccines like the mumps, which is the fastest vaccine to date, took four whole years um, in 1967. Um, the U.S. government has invested billions of dollars into the vaccine development and named it Operation Warp Speed. And even internationally, those like Germany with Pfizer and BioNTech dubbed their investigation project Lightspeed. In the U.S., um, Moderna is now in Phase 2, with Phase 3 expected to begin in around July and have data by Thanksgiving. Um, July 7th, the U.S. government has given Novavax Inc. $1.6 in funding for its vaccine development, and their projected goal is to have a vaccine available by January or February next year. Germany, Pfizer Inc. and BioNTech are also working on an mRNA vaccine. Last week, they reported with positive preliminary data from the Phase 1 and 2 study. They plan to start a 
large phase two and three study with 30,000 participants as early as next month. In England, AstraZeneca and Oxford University started a phase three study in June with enrollment in Brazil and South Africa. Their vaccine development is based on a weakened um, version of the coronavirus that causes infections in chimpanzees and has been genetically um, changed. Their goal is to have the vaccine available by the end of next year. In China, CanSino Biologics published in Lancet a well-known um, paper results from their phase one study which demonstrated production of virus-specific antibodies and T-cells in 14 days with a single dose in 108 participants. Their unpublished data from phase two study demonstrated a strong immune response. Another company in China Sinovac released in June preliminary results from the phase two part of the phase one and two study that showed its vaccine dubbed Coronavac induced neutralizing antibodies in over 90% of the 6,600 child participants. So why is the vaccine significant? Well, basically the world's economy is in deep trouble and everyone's getting a bit bored with the pandemic. Like, um, especially the US, everyone seems anxious to get back to work everyone's tired of lockdowns and they want to see their friends and their family. Um, the numbers of COVID-19 infections are going up again and many experts believe the only way to bring an end to the pandemic is through an effective vaccine. So uh, what do you see in the biggest challenge with the vaccine? Well firstly, the biggest challenge is actually making the vaccine. Uh -huh. But after that, um, through a survey it's found that only 50% of people are willing to actually get vaccinated. Wow. Um, Dr. Fauci from National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease has been quoted to say that we need at least 75% of people to be vaccinated in order to be effective. Right. Most people believe we only need 95%. Oh. Um, the more the better, obviously, right. because herd immunity would guarantee less risk. I see. Yeah, because more people get vaccinated, then that vaccine gonna, will be work, right? That's correct. Yeah. Thank you, Sivan, for explaining so thoroughly regarding to the vaccine the development, uh, which many experts agree would be the way to end the pandemic. Well, thank you for watching. We are looking forward to seeing you back next week for more investigative report. Thank, thank you, you for, for watching. having me. Um, make sure to tell everyone to get vaccinated once the vaccine is available. Linh Vi xin cảm ơn sự theo dõi của tất cả quý vị trong những giây phút vừa qua. Chương trình VAA TV xin kính chào, tạm biệt và xin hẹn gặp lại quý vị vào lần phát hình kỳ tới. Mọi chi tiết về thông tin thương mại và bảo trợ xin mời quý vị hãy liên lạc về địa chỉ email vaatelevision@gmail.com và số điện thoại là 480-289-9816, 480-289-9816. Website VAATV.com và VAAZNews.com Xin kính chào, tạm biệt.